So probably about once a year, someone's going to ask me why the pressure uh, doesn't change the KC or they get tricked up by a question and just don't remember that the only thing that changes the KC is the temperature. Uh, and so the answer to that is a little bit complicated. So I've put a video this time out uh, rather than just a written explanation. So it basically the equation accounts for it. So you would expect that because you have um, maybe half the volume double the pressure, you, you're actually going to push the reaction uh, to the left hand side here uh, because there's more, more moles on that side. And because of that, um, this concentration actually increases and this decreases. So therefore this would decrease and this would increase. Um, and so why does the KC stay the same? Uh, so the trick in the trick is uh, because the one the side that has the decreasing will also have uh, more of these powers or more species that exist. Uh, and so when you double the concentration, um, that is going to affect the, that side the most. And so it's going to have more things times to by two or more things um, times in, uh, affected by higher powers and so even though it decreases that effectively changes it so it it stays the same relative to this and so the KC doesn't change so that's how the equation accounts for not changing even though there is a concentration difference and an equilibrium change okay so uh, just to give you some actual numbers here this was not easy to do because this algebraic formula um, needs AI. Um, your math is probably good enough for it, but mine isn't because I'm not using the um, quadratic um, expression. I can't even remember it. Plus or minus the negative, the square root of whatever, 2AB or whatever it is. Um, so you don't have to do that for your syllabus, and I can't remember that because that's decades ago. Um, and so initially, let's just say we have 5 moles of this and point one and 1 moles of that. And so just checking that the KC is correct for that. And so what we're going to do is what we just said, half the volume, double the concentration. Um, and so I've changed that to 10 and 0.342. Um, the stoichiometric ratio is the key here. So that is going to decrease by two and that's only gonna go up by one. We sub all that in and uh, we get 0.495. So this one, the case is very small. We can just leave it at 10. Doesn't really affect it in the calculations over here of the new KC. So the Q is not, that's the Q, it's gonna change. Uh, and so we sub all that numbers in and we do get a push in concentration to the left hand side. The NO2 on the right hand side does decrease. Uh, and if we sub those numbers in, we are getting the same KC. Okay, so the numbers work out as well and you can try any numbers you want and you need to rely on that in case you get any calculations for it.